Hey everybody, it's Jay Janess here with the Slash Mini Network, and I'm here with you with some recent pickups that I've come across. And I'd like to thank my cousin Wanda. She hooked me up with some with a decent amount of Game Boy Advance games, and out of the deal, I even got a Game Boy Color game and a Game Boy game. Uh, and also at the end, I'm gonna save a couple of little treats for you. The first game is The Muppets. On with the show. It's a collection of little mini games, and it, it doesn't seem too shabby. I mean, it, it's not something that I would get into, but it's a cute little thing. Then we have Donotopia. You know, one of those movie license games that don't seem to go much of anywhere and just tend to devalue. Then, Let's Ride Sunshine Stables. Uh, I didn't play it, I didn't pop it in my Game Boy Advance, but it seems to be some sort of, uh, horse stable simulator. I mean, this is something that you would end up finding on Facebook. Yay. Then, we have The Daredevil, another movie licensed game. Uh, I'm assuming it's another side-scroller considering it's on the GBA. I haven't given it a shot. Maybe I will just test it out. Then we have Spyro 2, Season of Fire. I believe that's the title. Yep. Well, Season of Flame. My apologies. Uh, everybody knows Spyro. We've all had fun, especially in the mid-90s and whatnot. And it's a cute little game. Then we have Connect 4, Trouble, and Perfection, all on one cartridge. Uh, I'm sure everyone's played it. I've played the original board games, and... I don't think it's going to be too dissimilar from playing it on the GBA with the exception of you get a D-pad and the shoulder buttons and action buttons. So maybe this is another one I'll give a try. Monsters, Inc. Another movie licensed game. Then we have Dragon Ball Z. So Super Sonic Warriors. It... It, it's a fighting game, and it, it translates pretty well onto a Game Boy Advance. I mean, it, it gives you that little sense of uh, suedo 3D fighting action. Cartoon Network Speedway. It's a decent little ripoff of the um, Super Mario Kart franchise. I, I actually had a decent amount of fun checking this out. The controls are pretty tight, and it's not too shabby. I like it. It's decent. Then we have Dragon Ball Z, The Legend of Goku. It's a nice little suedo RPG action type game. It's not too bad. Uh, we also have here Namco Museum. It's another collection of some Namco games on one cartridge. Uh, you've got, like, Pole Position, Ms. Pac-Man, I believe, and a couple of other little games. It's not too bad. I like it. Then we have the Pac-Man collection. Gotta love Pac-Man. Then I found this at a pawn shop. Metroid Zero Mission. It's basically a remake slash retelling of Samus's adventures on Zenus. Or Zebus. I believe it's Zebus. This was actually found on the side of the street. I was really surprised when I found this. We have Mario and Luigi Super Star Saga. Uh, sorry for the mispronunciation. Uh... As you see, there seems to be a little bit of damage because it seems to have been run over by a car. But I threw it in the Game Boy, and it works. It's not damaged. It don't glitch. Woohoo! I love this game. It's awesome, especially for a little RPG. Now, we also have... The NES Classics Collection, Dr. Mario. A good representation of the original Dr. Mario from the NES. Thank you, Wanda. Then, 
one of the most prized possessions that I was kind of surprised was actually within the collection that my cousin gave me. Super Mario Bros. Advance 3, Yoshi's Island. Great find. I have never played this game with the exception of on the Game Boy Advance, and I am so proud to own this. Thank you again, Wanda. I really appreciate it. Uh, for the Game Boy Color, Mario Tennis. It's a neat little game. I like it. Mario Tennis. Then, this one here is definitely going to David Jr. And I'm sure he'd appreciate it considering the fact that he, in the past couple of weeks or so, got an original Game Boy. Base is loaded. It's not bad. I like it. I kind of suck at sports simulators, but come on, man. It's base is loaded. Now, for the two little tidbits I got you got for you, uh, the first one I'm going to show you, I've actually had for quite a while, but given this uh, little recording, I, I decided I'd show it off since I've never showed it off to any of you. Uh, we have Parasite Eve for the original PlayStation. I love this game. I owned the game once before, lost it or traded it in one or the other. I can't quite remember, but I got this for five bucks at a pawn shop here locally. Uh, the discs are in really good condition. Uh, the only thing that kind of saddens me was I wasn't able to find a manual for it, but hey, it's Parasite Eve. I'm going to love it. I know how to play the game. I don't need a manual. But it would would have been nice to have the manual to have it complete. And then, I know everyone here could say... You should have got it for PC on Steam or this and that and the other thing and everything else. But you know what? I like my console games. I like my PC games, but I like my console games as well. And this is the only way I can play it. Offline without any internet connection because I went through Steam or something. But Star Wars Jedi Outcast, Jedi, Jedi Knight 2. Uh... Compared to the PC release, the graphics kind of suffer, the controls sort of suffer, but I like this game. I like it a lot. Well, there's my recent pickups, and I hope everyone has a good day. Everyone take it easy. Jay Janess from the Slasher Mini Network, out.